Okay. Oh, yeah, it's raining. Weather. Gonna be clear. Okay. Fortune teller. Gonna be neutral. This is gonna be fun. Oh, God. Fun as in there's gonna be a whole lot of me panicking. Or fun as in, like, literally fun. <laughs> oh, eggs. Crap. Hang on. I gotta put stuff away. Nope, not that. This, this, and this. Because so I can give the other things as gifts. Gifts. Yes to both. Great. I got an eggy. All right, let's see. Done. I made money. Okay. To the beach. I have to do that today. Can I do that when it's raining? Reach farming level one. Okay. Feeding animals. Build a silo. Okay. Still got a lot to do. She can one. She can two. I gotta feed you. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna sell the eggs because I don't have a mayo maker right now. And we need the money. I'm also gonna... Maybe actually I should give that as a gift. The Meadowlands farm is so broken? What do you mean? Oh, because of the egg? The egg was gold. I should probably go to East Whatchamacallit today. Oh, let's see what this is. What are you doing? My good dude? What's going on? Free coop and two chickens. It really is. And also pretty instant good quality eggs too because they have that grass. Oh, wait. 50% off coupons. Come get them while they last. Oh, good. I don't have to read anymore. All right. Largemouth bass. I could try. I have to get my fishing pole first. Wait, it's Wednesday. Okay. Well, this is good, though, because I can learn how to fish and then meet more people in East Scarp, but also go fishing and make money. Because I feel like I need to do that. Oh, I can meet him in the rain. Cool. Um, I'm going to skip... I don't really need to keep... Sh like, I've done the cutscene so many times that I don't really feel like I need to. All right. Let's head to... Ugh, I don't have any room. I mean, I could eat the leek. I was going to fish, but I just don't have the space. Oh, I should also go to the library so I can meet the kids. Although I think I've met Vincent... No, maybe I didn't. Oh, hi. I'm Victoria. Tori, I live here. I mean, in the scarp. Hopefully we'll see each other around, right? What does scarp mean? Paint, painted in stylized letters, Tori and Nora. The I in Tori is dotted with a heart. That's so cute. You got some new ideas to sleep on? Mean. I got new ideas to sleep on? Is this, is this an update thing or a mod thing? That's going to be the game of the day. Updater, what is this? <gasps> oh, it's a kitty. Baring, Baron Munchington does not look impressed. Oh my God. It is the biggest, fattest Siamese cat I've ever seen in my entire life. Baron Munchington. Help. He's so cute. <laughs> His face. Baron Munchington. That is one seriously fat cat. I know, it's bigger than me. It's part tiger. Oh, you scared me. Look, look at what I've done. I'm sorry? Me too. I didn't realize anyone was here. Thanks for being nice about it. Look at this mess. I hope I didn't get... You didn't get sprayed by any melon juice. Well, that's a relief. The name's Rosa, by the way. I'm from Fort Josa. Yeah, I know. Rosa from Josa. My parents had a weird sense of humor. I'm working here temporarily. The owners of the inn are, far, are away for a while, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Top tier name for a fat cat? Yeah. Maybe if I'm lucky, we'll even get some guests. 
As you can probably smell, I enjoy baking, and this place has a great kitchen. So if you ever find yourself in need of baked goods or coffee, I'll be selling them at the counter. Feel free to stop by. She likes baking? I too like baking. Anyway, I'd better get this mess up, messed up melon in the bin. Don't be a stranger. Uh, what did you say your name was again? She also is bad at names, just like me. Okay, don't be a stranger, Mystic. I don't know if she's romanceable yet. We'll find out in a second. Let's see. Uh, what was her name? See? What did I say? She's bad at names just like me. Rosa. She is not. Okay. Unless there's like a special condition of some sort. Hello? Uh, hi. The name's Jacob. I'm Stardew Valley's mobile vet. Pleased to meet you. Oh, I got a letter from a little girl saying something about a, a guy that was a vet. Why is the vet hot? That's rude. Oh my god. It's the vet's office. And play at the same time you're playing. Oh, nice. I love being able to do that. Just watching people while I play games. Oh my god, she's so cute. Hi, I'm Eloise. But you can call me Ellie if you like. You're the new farmer, right? She's got a cat. Looks like this chair is taken. Her ladyship, Princess Midnight the Third, eyes you regally. You feel judged and found wanting. <laughs> oh my god. Whoever whoever did this mod, I love them. I love that there's a vet here. I love this. Can I talk to the burb? <gasps> I can talk to the burb. I I don't think he would be romanceable if he's got a kid, right? What was his name? I don't remember. Jacob. No, he's not. Okay. Oh, that must be his truck for mobile vetting. Yep, that's a word. What time is it? It's one. I should probably go empty my bag and try to get some fishing done. Intended for rival heart story, but it's not implemented. Are they doing rival? Wait, does Ex Stardew Valley Expanded do rivals? Or is that something I have to download separately? Because I would really like to have rivals. That was something I always really, really liked in um, Harvest Moon 64 was the ability to have rivals. All right, let's head back. I'm going to empty bags and sell stuff. And then I'm going to try and get a bass. So um, in, in Harvest Moon 64, if you were dating somebody, but you... um. No, wait, I'm sorry. If you were dating, no. If you were friends with the other male characters, those male characters would start dating other women in town. Um, so like each guy had their own preference and they would become your rivals basically. So you usually just did it so that you were friends with the ones that you weren't planning to romance their girlfriends. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm explaining this correctly because my brain is not braining, but like, yeah, like people that you would basically go up against uh, for romances. So like in Harvest Moon 64, I know if you dated Maria, um, then you wouldn't want to be friends with the mailman because he is like the rival. And if you were friends with him, then he would start dating her the hay back for now just because I need some extra space and I want to go fishing so I'm just going to take a few things out I'll keep those I think a mm, bass is it doesn't do it natively I think there is a mod though for it isn't there what is this oh I can't even get in there now never mind I'll have to research that but if I add it I don't think I'd be able to play this save file. So I might just not do it. The other characters can initiate re relationships depending on some factors. Yeah. And in the case of Harvest Moon 64, it was whether or not you were friends with the men. Wait, I didn't talk to you yet. 
need to pick me up some food today. Question is, do I look for forage in the forest or buy something at Jojo? Or, now hear me out, you can go to Pierre's or Gus's and get food there and shop small, buy local, you know, that sort of thing. I don't remember, where did bass come from? I think they're lake fish. I may not even be able to catch one right now because I'm, like, I have zero skill right now. Man, I think Harvest Moon 64 came out on the Switch recently. Like, and by recently, I mean probably a while ago because I haven't been looking at farming games in a while. But that was another game that I would love to stream because that's been my all-time favorite of the Harvest Moon. Well, that and um, A Wonderful Life. But I would not mind playing Harvest Moon 64. But I really don't want to burn out on farming games again, so I should probably wait a little bit. Maybe we'll finish up Stardew and then move on to Harvest Moon or Coral Island because I haven't done much with that either. But I also want to play shorter games too. Like, uh, like Beacon Pines was honestly perfect because it wasn't that long, but it was also so interesting to play. And I feel like the same thing with um, Slay the Princess. Oh, I got one. That's what I needed. Cool. Let me get a few more so I can sell them. Oh, wait. I may not want to sell all of my fish. I just remembered. I'm going to need to start worrying about the uh, community center soon. Oh, crap. I also need to plant a couple of seeds for things, too. Because most likely I'm going to need to put them in the spring bundle. So that's something else I need to remember. I mean, I guess I could sell these fish because these are all fairly common fish that I can get pretty regularly. So maybe I will, with the exception of the smallmouth bass or largemouth bass, because I need to give it to somebody, which I can check in a second. Oh, now here's a question. So I know that the bulletin board always gives like things that people need. So the one in Pelican Town, is that only for the people in Pelican Town? Would I need to do the other ones in like Ridge, Ridge side and uh, East Scarp? Like, can I do them all separately or can I only do one per day? All right, let's see. Wait, who do I need to give that to? Oh, Demetrius. Um... It's probably too late to give that to him today. You're not sure? Okay, no worries. I'll try and give to, uh, how much time do I have? Two days, I can give it to him tomorrow. I just have to remember. <laughs> Me, remember something? Don't know about that, wait. Oh, that's Sebastian. Wait, I haven't talked to him today. Come here. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool, wait. Out of all the places, I haven't talked to him on this one yet. I talked to him on the one that I stopped playing because it didn't have the mods. I remember when I played this on stream and I did a poll for who I should marry and Sebastian won. And like people were commenting like it, it feels like you don't really feel happy being married to Sebastian. I wasn't. I, I actually did not like him very much. Let's go to bed. I know I didn't use up all my energy, but that's okay. Ooh, we got level one foraging. We actually, we actually made a fair amount of money for day three. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. The eggs are gonna be very helpful. All right, let's see, weather report. Beautiful sunny day, fortune teller, very displeased. And then this one, I'm just gonna blah, blah, blah through. Okay, nope, didn't mean to fish my TV. Oh, and I have to buy seeds for the other things that I need for the community center. I can't remember, the community center should be unlocking in a couple of days, I think. All right, Um, I might wanna keep my fishing pole out. I think everything else I'll keep there. Let me go get my uh, 
she cans. Oh, wait, they're already on their way out. Oh, but I need the eggs. Get that one, get that one, pet that one. Okay, I have to go find Demetrius. Hi, I haven't seen you before. Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. Claire edges away from you? Ma'am? I've been re Oh, crap. I've been reading up on different strategies for optimizing the arrangement of department stores. That's good. Joja is pretty firm about things being consistent between locations, but I wonder if I have some room to maneuver and try some new things out. Oh, thank God. He's done talking. There we go. Thanks, Mystic. The largemouth bass population was getting out of hand because of overfishing of their competitor species allowed... Wait. Because overfishing of their competitor species allowed them to complete access to their favorite food. Ah, we had to... We had to fix things. We had to fix the ecosystem. A stranger. Hello. Hi. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Has the cave not opened up yet? I feel like it's kind of late. Or no, maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's tomorrow. Oh, wait. This is the therapist. I, um, you're Mystic, correct? I'm sorry. I'm not good with names. Ma'am, you're a therapist. I feel like you should be good with names. <laughs> Oh, it said you could keep the bass? I was Oh my god, it's Ian. Come here. Richard's a good boss. But I mean, I have lots of employers. It's a busy life. Why are you hot, sir? Because you're ruining it. I was very gay, but now you're ruining it. I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw all of last year's styles to make room for new ones. Good for you. Have a daffodil. <gasps> for me? Thank you. Okay. I do not have a quest today. Oh wait, day four? Let me check my phone. Elliot, have I met Elliot in this playthrough? Hello, Mystic, I have. Ah, hello there, Mystic. What's up? I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. You were doing what? What is this? It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk, you included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. Is this mod or update? My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. I just want to help. Ooh, ooh, face. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. That's a good way to get your hands on some more tickets. Good luck out there. Um, hello there. Andy is ignoring you. Cool, bye. Oh, this is the farmer? Oh my god, look how cute her and Sam look together. Hello, Mystic, how are you? Oh, me? Just busy with life as usual. What? They're kind of cute together. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce. Or maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe. Oh! I need to go buy seeds. Because I need to get the rest of the seeds for the community center. Even though I don't know what's being planted yet. I'm going to just plant everything and be prepared. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Okay. I think I talked to all of them. No, wait, I didn't talk to them today. Well, I'll deal with it in a second. Oh my god, I, there's no way I can talk to every single person every single day. There are 72 people that I need to talk to in this game right now. All right, so we need a parsnip seed, a bean starter, a cauliflower, maybe a kale seed, and possibly flowers. I'm just going to take everything because I really don't know. Maybe I'll plant this stuff off to the side just so things can be somewhat more organized. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm literally planting everything because I, I don't know what the community center is going to need and I'd rather be prepared. I have a feeling it's going to be a while before I decide who I'm going to, <laughs> who I'm going to marry. Because, wait, that's the wrong thing. I still have to meet a bunch of people. 
There are so many people. All right. So, well, I haven't met Clint, but he's all right. Actually, a lot of the people I haven't met are. No, I don't know where she's from. I'm trying to figure out the best way to talk to people. I feel like the best way to go about it is to just whoever I run into, I talk to. Because otherwise, I'm never going to. I'm never going to do anything else but talk to people all day. Hello. Working a corporate job in the city was a different chapter of my life. Used to work for Joja, isn't that right? Wait, me? Oh, I did, yeah. Hmm, that's what I thought. Mayor Lewis told me. Office job to farmer. What an incredible career change. I work as a stock trader in my free time, maybe 15 hours a week. You must feel so much freer to not be tied up in a corporate office and able to do the work you love. I'm happy you found your passion, sweetie. Oh, thanks. Hi, I'm Rosa. I'm new in town. Let me know if you have any work going. I'm up for any odd jobs. Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't officially meet her before. No, I did. I think. Is that a... Is the, is the new ideas thing part of the update? Or is that part of... Mods. Oh, you're getting it too and you don't have mods? Okay. That's interesting. I'm glad they actually did that because... You're running mod free? Okay. Um, clear and sunny. Ah, oh, yeah, spirits whispering something. Somewhat annoyed. Okay. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! I forgot to set my pet! Well? Well? I guess we are. We are getting a cat because I forgot to set it. I have an orange cat. Oh, you can get a puppy when you when you max out the cat. You can have more than one now. Has that been a thing for a while? But yeah, you can have multiple pets. Okay. You see this cat here? Yes. New with the update. Okay. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it's like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Sure. Apparently I'm adopting a cat. Turtles? Okay. Miso. Um. What do we want to name our cat? Mara. Mara. Okay. Yes. Oh God. I'm hitting my mic. I'm hitting my microphone because I love that one so much. I have caps lock on. Muri, Muri, Antoine. Oh God, I can't fit it. I can't fit it. Oh, what about Muri Curie? Muri, Muri Curie. That works. Well, little Muri Curie, you'd be a good kitty now, okay? My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Joja made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Oh God. To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations. Oh, okay. So I can finally go to the mines. All right, cool. Tea cans. Oh, I left the door open again. I'm so sorry, but they seem to be okay. They don't seem to mind that the door is open. I don't know. Magic does exist in Stardew. Magic letter teleportation. You had a little Pomeranian named Pixie. Oh my god, palms are so cute. I'm not usually a little dog person because I tend to like my, my big my big uh huggable dogs but yeah palms are pretty great i don't think they get unhappy they don't just don't get as happy oh okay not that you can't hug a little dog you can but uh more on the gentler side who's this i haven't met them oh i gave you a flower you're welcome I can use this for target practice. Wow. 
Hey, uh, where'd you come from? I've never seen you before. I'm Ki- Ki- Come visit my dad's restaurant sometime, okay? Oh, is your dad Pika? Little, because big ones drag me around. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I do have that problem. I do have that problem. My German Shepherd especially loves to try and drag me on the leash. Oh, hi there. Oh, wait. I'm going to skip this. We've seen this cutscene a bazillion times. There's the therapist. Hi. All right, so we can actually start... Well, we can start at the community center tomorrow. I have to just go look at the letter and stuff. I think it's because I grew up with big dogs, though. Um, like I've always had big dogs, so I think I'm just, I think I'm just used to it. Um, I worked with little dogs when I worked at the vet though, so I got to interact with them then. And actually, one of my favorite dogs, one of my favorite patients of all time when I worked at the vet was a Pomeranian. He was very cool. I actually used to pet sit him, um, and he would come to my house and... I had three Labrador Retrievers who also loved dogs. And he was just, he was so, he was so little compared to my three Labs, but he was the boss. He was the boss of my three big dogs and it was hilarious. I wanted to look pretty today, so I put on some eyeliner. Girl, you're so pretty anyway. Do you think it looks okay? Yes. Oh, thanks. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay. I need a sunfish. Sunfish. Those are river fish? I think. I can try and get one. Oh, wait. I haven't met her yet. Hi. Oh, wait. Have I met Jazz yet? Oh, no. She's dateable. I remember seeing her. Why are all of the women so pretty? You know, I've never seen you here before. What's your name? Oh, hello, Mystic. I'm Blair. Your future what? <laughs> okay. Hello. Just kidding. Or are you? All right. Had a 175 pound Akita mix drag me through the Texas rest area. Oh no. Oh no. Were you able to like, were you able to like get control of that? She's bold. Hello, um, are you enjoying the weather? Be careful if you're around the scarp after dark. Yes, I, I ran into a crab. The rock crabs around here are very aggressive. Thankfully, they're nocturnal. I mean, I'm not complaining. I tend to be very indecisive. So like, I appreciate it when somebody else can take control. Others helped once he had me stuck in a head. Oh no. Um. So I don't have a story like that. I mean, my dogs aren't that. I mean, they're on the larger side. They're both like 55 pounds, which I mean, it's not a small dog. Um, my son, when Aqua was a puppy, she was probably only like 20 pounds at the time. He was like, oh, can I hold her leash for a second? And it was like literally for a second because I had to like grab something super fast. And he's like, I got her for a second. And he was probably nine at the time and uh she's another dog started walking by and her being a little puppy got very excited and she basically dragged him to the other dog who was very excited to see her and him <laughs> but it was so funny because like i didn't think that was going to happen in the five seconds that i let my son hold the leash but it did and uh yeah, it was it was funny. You were oh god. Yeah, I could see that being a problem, uh, Mystic Faye. I've never had a dog weigh more than me because I don't think I'd feel comfortable trying to like walk it. <laughs> I have enough trouble with my 50 pound dogs. Um I I love like super big dogs. I love like um Great Pyrenees and uh Newfoundlands and St. Bernard's and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like they also kind of need a specific type of person. Gold? Okay. I just got gold. I feel like they need a specific kind of person because you really need to be able to train them properly. 
You don't walk it, you ride it. Exactly. Some of my favorite dogs to take care of at the animal hospital were like the massive ones though. Um, one of them was a St. Bernard who actually had to have emergency surgery because he ate an entire beach towel for fun. And um, the other one was a Mastiff who, I mean, he, I don't remember him having any issues, but he was in all the time for like various things. I mean, he was a huge dog, so they tended to have like arthritis and stuff. Um, and he would come in from time to time and he was like the sweetest boy. And then there was, there was the Pomeranian who was also one of my favorites. And he used to boss my dogs around and it was just so funny because my dogs were probably like 70 pounds each. And there was this tiny little Pomeranian that was the boss of my dogs whenever he came to visit. And it was just so funny. Aqua and Max, my current dogs, who are, like I said, are both about 55 pounds. I don't think they've ever met. No, that's a lie. Aqua's met small dogs before because um, she went to dog, dog training school. Um, and we had a little, uh, a little poodle mix. I think she only got to like maybe 20 pounds full grown. So she wasn't that big. Aqua really liked her. <laughs> Present from my son, his pup had pups and I needed him according to him. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's how we ended up with my third lab as a kid. Uh, not that, uh, we had puppies, but, um... I was working at the vet at the time and somebody came in with a Labrador puppy and they had just adopted him, but they realized like after they adopted him that they weren't quite ready for another dog yet because their previous dog had just, had just passed away. And so like, they didn't know what to do. They didn't want to put him in a shelter. So they called us. <laughs> and of course the head receptionist at the time, she's like, well, I know that one of my coworkers has two labs already. She might be able to take him. <laughs> and it was like, oh my God. Um, but so I called my mom because I was still living at home at the time. And um, I called my mom and it was her birthday that day. So I was like, how would you like, how would you like a Labrador puppy for your birthday? She was like, what the hell are you talking about? And that's how we ended up with Jack. He, uh, he ended up becoming my sister's dog, actually. She ended up taking him when she moved out. And he lived a good time. He was like 14, I think. You did ride Lancelot once. Do not recommend. Yeah. I feel like riding a dog is probably a bit hard to do. All right. I'm going to go sell some stuff. Although I was hoping to find more people. Where is everybody? I keep forgetting that this map exists. So that's Victoria. All right, I already met her. That's Rosa. Who's this? Beatrice. I haven't met Beatrice. But it doesn't look like there's anybody else here right now. Wait, do I have to go down that way? No, I have to go this way. I'm very grateful for this map having the icons or I would never be able to figure anything out. I think I have to go up this way. So I can't do anything with the community center until tomorrow. Oh, is that another cave? What's this? Ah! Okay. Nope. Nope. No. You know what? We don't need to check that out right now. Enchante, I am Beatrice, the East Scarp Lighthouse Keeper. Oh, I'm playing a game called Cafe Enchante right now. It's a cute little Otome game. Highly recommend if anybody is looking for an Otome. I've been playing it at night before bed. I really like it. All right, we're going to go sell stuff now. And also maybe see if there's... Oh my God, there's still so many people. Oh, wait, Ideen. Have I met her? I don't think I've met Ideen yet. So wait, she's in Joja right now? Okay, let's go talk to her because I know I'm missing her. 
Also, Aqua is snoring. <laughs> she's on the couch next to me. And she's doing a heckin' snore. Speaking of dogs. Oh, here, her. Oh my god. Good day. I don't believe we've been introduced. You are the new farmer. Well, you most certainly look the part. I'm Ideen, and it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Who? What? I think she's romanceable. Hello? She's very... I like... I love her. Ideen. 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 No, wait. I must have passed her. Oh my god, I wish this was in alphabetical order. Can I do that? Yeah, she's romanceable. Great. Excellent. This is wonderful and I am grateful. Oh my god. She's like a Victorian lady. Have I met Clint yet? Oh, I bet you I can't talk to him right now. How many more people do I have left? Whoops. Introductions. Math. 14? I think. Oi. I still gotta figure out where everyone is. Actually, I bet you I can meet Clint at the saloon. Have I? Have I talked to Alex? Oh yeah, I did. Hey, it's Farm Girl. Did you get new pants? You're doing something right. What? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for push-ups. Okay, have fun. Oh, this place is a lot more crowded than usual, but Clint's not here. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not a very common these days. Wait. Handle and- Oh yeah, I know. It makes you thirsty. I've talked to both of them. Oh, look at everybody playing here! Victor is playing Pumpkin Smashers. Oh! Alright, Mystic Bay, have a good- Have a good stream? Have a good game session? It was good to see you. Bye! Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Uh, I'm not very good. Me neither. I'm not very good at that game. Wait, no. Crap. I need to find a way to talk to her. I think I have to go around. Excuse me. You're in your way. In my way. I'm not really in the mood to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, that's Pierre. I've talked to Olga. I've talked to Pam. Oh, wait, who's that? Gus, I've talked to Gus. Emily. I have talked to Corrine. Corrine? 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 I didn't realize she worked here too. Oh, I was really hoping Clint would be here. Oh wait, there he is. I still need to meet him. Hi, I'm Clint. Wait, I was going to do an Eeyore voice. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I am your guy. Okay. Got him. How many left? 11? No. No. I can't math. 13. No. Wait. I can't math. Yeah, 13. We'll get there eventually. One day. I will get this quest. Math is for mathy people. Yeah, and that's not me. Uh, who are you? Oh, no, it's her. Good day to you, Mystic. It's a wonderful day today, isn't it? Do take care now. I thought I talked to her today. Maybe not. I don't even know. I'm so confused. Okay, I did all of that. I got to sell stuff. I'm hoping I can just catch all of these fish again because I don't really feel... Like, not selling stuff. I want to be able to make some money right now. Because I feel like that's kind of important. Oh, let me go close the chicken door. Now we can go. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily have to go to bed yet. I guess I could clear out some of this stuff. I might as well make some room for more things as time goes on. You know, one thing. Oh, wait, no. There's another whole field over here that I can plant things in, right? Yeah, it's down here. So I'm not I'm not gonna run into too much trouble with not having enough places for plants. I think I should be fine. Oh yeah, there's there's tons of space down here. But more likely than not, I'm gonna just have a farm that mostly deals with animals, but 
Oh yeah, there's spots. There's spots here. We should be good. We'll be fine. And I think I can plant my fruit trees on the grass. I think? It's been a while since I've played. I don't remember. All right, we're gonna keep those. There we go. Let's go to bed now. Kitty! Muri Curie. All right, let's go to bed. All right, that was actually a pretty good day. 585? Not too shabby.